Okay, today we're going to take a look at how to get a site usage report and see how many people are viewing your website. So once you have signed in, you're going to go to Site Actions, go down to Site Settings, and then over to Modify All Site Settings. When the Site Settings menu appears, you're going to go to the Site Administration area, and you're going to go down to Site Usage Reports. Now if this does take a minute to pop up, don't be alarmed. Sometimes this can take a little bit of time depending on web traffic and things like that. So we're going to take a look at some of the um, reports that are available to you. The first is the site summary, which just shows more recent activity on your site. And so it talks about average requests per day. A request is any time that somebody opens up or goes to your site. So when someone does that, it goes there once. If they go there five times during a day, it's going to count as five. The distinct users I would not worry about only because this only counts the people who can log into your site, which in this case are teachers and students. Parents don't log into your site, they don't have login credentials. So if you're trying to see how many parents are viewing your site, um, these numbers will really not do you any good. And then obviously it's going to show us our average request per 30 days and our average request yesterday. If we go over to the right, again, maybe some of that um, information that you saw over in the site summary, but now we get a little more data in the request per page graph here. And so here we go, we can see how many times my site has been viewed, again, each day. I don't use my site very much, I use it a lot more when I'm getting ready to present um, at conferences. And so I haven't really done any of that recently, so my numbers are pretty low. You might find teachers who use their site with not only their students a lot, but they have their parents check-in planners and things like that. You may have numbers upwards of 100, 150 a day. Again, just depends on how you are using your site. You also see we have top pages. This is really nice because this will let you see um, what pages are the most popular, and they give it a value over here. Obviously, the higher number and the value, the more times that's being viewed. So it'll give you a really good idea of what parts of my website are people actually accessing. And then if you go down to top users, again, you're going to see here this little dash. Those are the anonymous users, so anybody from the outside without um, a login. They just basically count as anonymous right there. And then right now, I'm the only other user who's gone in there. So if other people had signed into my site, they would appear down here. And there are some other reports just kind of showing you, you know, where people are getting to your site from. So in this case, most of the people are getting to it from you know, within Rockwood or in this case Google. And I have a few more down here at the bottom. So if we do want any more um, particular data, we can click on a title. So I'm gonna click on my requests per day title here. And so it's just gonna give me a little bit more information. So it gives me that same request over the past 30 days, but now I also get requests per day by month. So if I wanna kinda of see some more longitudinal data on that. That's how to access the site usage reports. If you have any questions, please let me know.